Welcome back our Kikwetu daily member. So our today's topic is why Kenyans are questioning about coronavirus attack in Kenya. So straight to the point, M most Kenyans outside here are wondering and moving around with their mouth full of questions. Was Kenya truly among the countries that were attacked by COVID-19 virus outbreak? And if yes, then Kenya could be the luckiest country worldwide. Our first question, why were the politicians not observing the COVID-19 rules, the likes of His Excellency Mr. Fred Francis Atwoli? This man held a very huge ceremonial party in his homestead. During this meeting, the attendants had no masks and also the participants traveled from different countries yet the government had actually banned the inter-county movement. That's one of the questions that Kenyans have been questioning about. On the second part, a serious question was asked as where was the testing being done? In the consideration that most people feared the COVID-19 testing procedure which seemed to be irritating yet the numbers were increasing and decreasing every 24 hours. Number three, a stupid question was asked by one of the drunkard, uh, a drunkard man, although seemed to have a stupid meaning, he asked, why did the government ban alcohol drinks yet it was discovered as a disinfectant against the virus? <laughs> why could the people not be allowed to use alcohol to sanitize themselves as a way of protection. <laughs> this could seem to be a serious joke but can leave you speechless when asked the answer. In the likes of the neighboring, neighboring countries like Uganda and Tanzania, the, mov the movement of their citizens was normal. Everything seemed to be normal and no business was stopped due to the virus. Why is, it that it, why is it that the virus did not affect the neighboring country? Could the Tanzanians, in real sense or essence, may have used the herbals to treat their victims, or it was just but a scam? Kenyans were being whipped by security guards due to the curfew rules as from 7 p.m. The government did not care for the Kenyans who always depended on their daily hand-to-mouth way of living. Even some of the Kenyans were dying of hunger. Why was the president not worried about Kenyans' citizens? Considering the demolitions that were being experienced in the likes of Karyobangi residents, this forced many Kenyans to remain homeless and also break the social distancing COVID-19 rules. Why were Kenyans being demolished their houses during the coronavirus session? Why did the government not wait and but instead it moved on with acquiring back its land? With non-answerable questions from Kenyans, there comes our original question. Was Kenya truly among the countries that were attacked by COVID-19 virus outbreaks? If yes, then Kenya could be the luckiest country worldwide. Thank you so much for keeping it Kikwetu Daily. Don't forget to subscribe on our channel for you to be the first one to get our updates whenever we upload them here. Stay safe and always keep the COVID-19 rules. Don't break the rules. Stay safe and sanitize. Thank you.